Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather. I've got some incredible made to order wallets that our customers have specced out. And if you're looking to pick up a custom made wallet, maybe in some raw denim shell cordovan, like this Bugs Moran here, you can just send an email to info at ashlandleather.com and my brother Matt will help you out. Just let him know what your dream wallet is. All right, let's get started here with some raw denim shell cordovan. It's a really nice blue shade on the raw denim. And you might be asking, what makes the raw denim raw? Let's compare this to normal denim shell cordovan. You can really see the difference in luster. So normally shell cordovan has a really bright, shiny luster, and that has been achieved by the tannery polishing and glazing in the shell with a little bit of Venetian cream as well as a glass rod and a process called glazing. They take that hard glass rod and then rub it over the surface of the leather. It makes it very dense and smooth and really bright and shiny. However, this raw denim shell cordovan here has not gone through that glazing process at all. So we do get a little bit of a subtle sheen to it, but it's nowhere near as bright and shiny as a normal piece of shell cordovan. But as you wear this leather, it becomes more bright and shiny just with normal use. In addition to the luster, the patina, tends to develop and become a little bit darker on all of the raw shell cordovan, including the raw denim here. This one has a natural waxed and burnished edge. And what I love about this particular wallet is the inside. We have some dye splatter on some reverse blue shell cordovan. Really cool splatter effect coming from the top left all the way down to the bottom right. And we get to see the horn shell cordovan stamp cut right into the center. Really beautiful bugs ran here, but we also have the tone of the ant in the normal denim shell cordovan here. And you can see the difference on the inside. It's a little bit wider on the Tony the Ant. And we did that to more easily accommodate cash in the back bill slot. So Tony the Ant is just like the Bugs Moran, a little bit wider with a bill slot on the back. Let's take a look at this denim blue shell cordovan. It has a really nice aqua blue undertone to it. And as I spin it around, you'll notice that the color changes. At some angles, it's a little bit more navy. And then other angles, it's a little bit more of that denim blue. Normally on a wallet like this, I would choose to spec it out with a handstand edge, but I'm glad that I wasn't helping uh, with the customer service on this one because I really like this natural waxed and burnished edge on this tone of the ant. Gives it a really beautiful framed out look along the outside of the denim blue shell. Let me give you a look at the inside one more time with more denim blue shell cordovan on the inside and we have a matching blue stitching. All right, here's a really fun one. This is a Capone money clip. And actually, if you look up a video Video from a year or two ago, you can see a video of Amir making this in our workshop. On this Capone, we have Western black shell cordovan on top of garnet shell cordovan. And that's the theme of the wallet here, red and black together. We also have a contrasting red stitch going along the outside that matches the garnet shell cordovan very nicely. And as we spin it to the inside, you can see we've got some black hand stained edges to play off the black and red here. And on the inside, we have more garnet shell cordovan on the left and right card holders, but these have the Western texture pressed into them. Something on the center here, I have not seen before, and I, th I really like the result. So normally on the back side of the garnet shell cordovan, that you can see on the outside here, this is the reverse side on the interior center. Now this is a black look, and I was actually really surprised to see this at first, that the back side of the garnet shell was black, but it looks like the customer had requested for us to hand stain the back side of the garnet shell with that black stain. And then it looks like the team has done a nice job hand glazing in the reverse side of the shell. So you get a nice shiny luster. I really like the look of this two-tone effect, black and garnet together. Let's keep it going with some smaller wallets here. I've got two Frank the Enforcers to show you. I wanna show you the darker of the two first. This is one of my all-time favorite shell cordovan colors. This is color number four shell cordovan. And color four shell is a medium brown with reddish undertones. As I spin this one around, you might notice that the color changes from that brown to red that I described and sort of back to red again. Really, really interesting color shift on the color four shell cordovan. This one also has a natural waxed and burnished edge. And on the Frank the Enforcer, we have two card holders on the front. We have one larger card slot and bill slot in the center. You can fit US dollars folded in half right there. And on the back, we have one more card slot with the thumb notch. Now let's compare the color four here with what used to be called color number two. This is actually garnet shell cordovan, and I mentioned it used to be called color number two. There's also the classic cordovan color, color eight. So two, four, and eight, sort of three variations on the same sort of vibe of color. On the garnet shell cordovan, you'll notice this is a little bit more red. You might be asking, why would Horween rename this from color two 
to garnet shell cordovan. And the long story short is that Horween's dye supplier that was supplying them with the color number two dye had changed their dye formulation and was slightly different. I think Horween's done a really nice job matching the color back to the original color two for this garnet shell. So I think they could probably still get away with calling it color two, but in transparency, I'm, I'm glad they were transparent with their customers to let them know that something has changed and by doing that, renaming it to garnet. So on the garnet shell here, you'll notice again, really dramatic shift in color, depending on what angle you look at it. Just look at the different card holders as I turn it. So the center card holder right now is a little bit more red. And as I spin it back, the center card holder becomes a little darker and more brown. Really, really fascinating to see the shift of color on all the shell cordovan colors, especially the lighter shells. Let's take a look at our most popular wallet style here. And this one's beautiful. We've got natural shell cordovan on the giant of the fox. And the giant of the fox is our traditional bifold. I think a lot of people are very familiar with this wallet style, which is perhaps why it's our best seller. Now, let me show you the outside of this giant of the fox as I peek to the right because we've got natural shell cordovan here with that bright, shiny luster. And the one on the table here, this is actually raw natural. Now, this is an excellent time for me to compare and show you the difference between the normal shell cordovan here and the raw natural shell cordovan here. Incredible difference on the luster. You can really see the bright, shiny, mirror-like sheen to the normal shell, where the raw natural here has like a little sheen to it, but it's nowhere near as bright and shiny. So let me show you this guy again and why this is special. Natural shell cordovan on the outside, exceptional for patina. We do have a little bit of a color shift there as well. I'll spin this one around. You can see it's a little bit darker at that angle and a little bit lighter at this angle. This is why it's special. The interior shell here, these are rare colors of shell. So not many are produced. And in addition to that, we need to pick naturally thin pieces of leather for the inside of the giant of the fox. Take a look at all those layers of leather there. If we use the normal shell cordovan thickness that you can see on the outside here, this wallet would just be way too thick if we use that for every card holder. So we have to be very, very patient and select the naturally thin pieces of leather for the inside of the Johnny the Fox. We don't like to skive down or thin down any of the leather because that heavily compromises the strength of the shell and it will just rip and fall apart. I think that's why a lot of wallets fail. Now let's look at the raw natural here. We actually have two to look at today. They're very, very similar. Raw natural shell cordovan, again, exceptional for patina. If you want the most potential to develop a dramatic patina, I think raw natural is the way to go. As you wear this, it will become naturally more bright and shiny. And the color also slowly transitions to become a little bit darker and more golden brown. It's very, very beautiful to see that change happen. You can sort of impart your own style onto it. Like I said, we have two of these to look at and every piece of shell is a little bit different. You might notice some little bits of striations on the, uh, the bottom fox here that do not seem to be as apparent on the top one. So every piece of shell is a little bit different. And it's the same story for the interior of the giant of the foxes. It's very, very challenging for us to find naturally thin pieces of rare shell cordovan colors that comprise the inside pattern pieces of this wallet. So it's extra special to be able to see a 100% raw natural shell cordovan giant of the fox. Now let's get a little bit bigger in size here. We've got a passport field notes holder in a really remarkable piece of inverted ultraviolet shell cordovan. You can see the range of color that's happening here on the inverted ultraviolet. It goes from like a little bit of a purple to sort of a pink magenta sort of shade. And then right here, we've got one little puddle of that natural color. It's pretty light tan just in this one little section. And we get to see all the colors in between. Very, very beautiful piece of shell. I know it's not for everyone, but I, I find this to be very, very compelling, very striking and completely unique. You're never gonna find two alike. Let's take a look at the inside where we have more inverted shell cordovan, but this is inverted blue shell cordovan, both on the right side and on the left side. Now this passport holder will also fit field notes. So we have two larger compartments, one on the left, and one on the right. And each of these larger slots can fit a passport or some field notes. We also have a nice natural waxed and burnished edge to complete this passport field notes holder. Up next here, we have our brand new wallet style. This is also a passport holder, but this is the traveler passport holder. On the outside, you will notice it looks exactly like the Fat Herbie, and that's because it pretty much is. It's just like the Fat Herbie design, except we made it a little bit taller to more easily accommodate a passport on the inside right. So on the outside, let's look at this again. We've got some incredible marbled black shell cordovan. Take a look at the color range here. It's a little bit more forest green on the outside right, and then it fades down to a little bit more tan on the outside left. Let me spin this guy around because I notice on the marbled shell cordovan, 
it really has a dramatic shift in color depending on what angle you look at it. So I'll spin this guy around. You can see the range I'm talking about. Much darker, more forest green at certain angles. A little bit more tan, a little bit more yellow and orange come out at other angles. As we flip this around, we've got a natural waxed and burnished edge on the outside. And here's the look at the inside. I'm honestly not sure what leather this is, but it kind of looks like psychedelic shell cordovan. It almost looks like inverted shell cordovan, those drip marks that we normally see on the inverted shells, but this is on the reverse side of shell cordovan. It's really interesting sort of camouflage look on the reverse side of this cordovan. Really beautiful new Traveler Passport wallet. Let's keep it going here. I've got a Fat Herbie to compare that to. You'll notice the Fat Herbie is just very slightly smaller than the new Traveler Passport holder. And again, we increase the size of the Passport holder to more easily fit that on the inside right. Now the Fat Herbie is my favorite wallet style and that's because I like to wear my wallet in my back pocket. I find this wallet to be tremendously comfortable. It actually lays much thinner in your pocket because of the unique card layout on the inside. We're not layering all our cards together and stacking them on top of each other like the Giant of the Fox. They're spread out over more surface area. So you can hold just as many cards in this wallet, but it lays thinner in your pocket. It's less like sitting on a softball and more like sitting on something flat. That's why I like the Herbie. I also really like the bill slot on the outside. You can open this wallet with one hand and it easily allows you to get the cash with your other hand. I just love the Herbie. And on this Herbie here, we have a remarkable piece of marbled color eight shell cordovan. I'm spinning this one around because it really changes the color depending on what angle you look at it. You can see much lighter at this angle, a little bit more vivid of a color eight shade there and a little bit darker in brown at this angle. And the tannery achieves this marbled effect by slowly layering on many stain coats of that color eight stain, and then they scrape it away in a random way. And what we're left with here is that random sort of visual texture. It is very flat and smooth. It sort of has like a textured look to it, and then a gradient of color. It sort of goes from dark to light, and then in some sections, it's a little bit more of a subtle fade. For me personally, I like a harsh contrast, like you see here from dark to light, but I think most people prefer a little bit more of a subtle look like you see right there. All right, let's flip this around. On the inside, we have more marbled color eight shell cordovan, Again, on the right, a little bit more of that dramatic shift that I prefer, and the left, it's like a little bit more subtle. We have one last wall to look at, and it's a total stunner. Save the uh, huge piece for the end. This is also marbled shell cordovan, but this time it's on a color called ultraviolet. And what I really like about this is seeing the extra large context that the long wallet offers us, and we're showcasing the variation on the marble shell cordovan in that large context. I think it's perfect for a wallet design like this. As it's closed, it looks remarkable, but I think as you open it up, you can see the variation from light to dark that I think makes this extra special. It's almost sometimes a, a shame to cut a piece of shell that looks like this just because it looks so beautiful by itself. You almost wanna frame it and put it on a wall, but certainly it's more useful put into a wallet like this long wallet here. So we have some matching stitching along the outside. It's a little bit more of like a magenta stitch. And the inside we have ultraviolet shell cordovan as well as reverse ultraviolet shell cordovan. So we've got three variations on ultraviolet shell, the marbled on the outside, the normal right here, and then the reverse on the right. We also have a hand stained ultraviolet waxed and burnished edge. And then the inside center, I really like this look here. We were able to cut the Horween USA stamp into the center. Now this is the measuring machine stamp that the tannery puts on every piece of leather as they ship it. They want to authenticate uh, to their customers that this is from their tannery. So alongside this USA stamp, there's usually a, a measuring number. There you can see 2.1 feet squared. That's how large that piece of shell cordovan was. It's actually pretty big. Certainly had to get it big to cut this extra large long wallet out of there. So exceptional wallets going out today. Thank you to everybody that has picked up one of them. If you want to pick up a made to order wallet for yourself, you can email again, my brother, Matt, and the email address is info at ashlandleather.com. Just let them know what your dream wallet is. I'm going to come back and pick my stunner. And for the stunner here, I'm going to go with the raw natural shell cordovan. Just seeing these, it's kind of rare for us to be able to get those thin pieces of shell for the inside. And then just as I've seen these become aged and accumulate all that beautiful patina. This is where it's at for me. I'm sort of envisioning what this will look like as it's worn and uh, I get really excited. So thanks so much to everybody that has picked up one of these. Again, if you want to pick up a wallet or if you have any questions, just leave us a message. Until next time, I hope you have a good one.